CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, revealed that over the next week, Taylor continued to support her close sister, Brooke. Brooke and Taylor have both agreed not to return to Ridge and that they're leading a very happy single life. Recently, Brooke has been flirting with a lot of new men, and it also made Brooke realize her worth. Paul, a bartender, but has great charm for Brooke. Brooke was impressed by his kindness and gallantry, but due to having just experienced a failed love affair with Ridge, Brooke is still quite shy. Taylor can see Brooke's confidence. She's researched very carefully about Paul to help Brooke. The guy has a very good background and a clean past. Surely this is a man who suits Brooke the best. Taylor encourages Brooke to date Paul. Whatever he may be, Brooke still has to try contacting him to understand. Brooke will listen to Taylor's words. Paris felt that Zenday was being treated unfairly at Forrester Creation. Because there was Thomas before, Zenday was always behind him. Thomas is Ridge's son, so of course, there will be discrimination here. When Thomas was fired, Paris thought this was an opportunity for Zenday to prove her ability. However, when Zenday joined the Hope for the Future project, unfortunately for him, it failed. Hope is the main person responsible for this project, and Zenday is only her support, but is criticized the most. They consider Zenday a failure when it comes to making the Hope for the Future line lose money. This is really unfair to Zenday. Paris sees that success is enjoyed by Thomas and Zenday is not taken seriously. Paris wants Zenday to quit her job at Forrester and find another environment. This option is really too coincidental with Zenday. He's also been thinking about this for a long time, and maybe the time has come. Douglas is now living with Steffi, but that doesn't mean everything is settled. Even Taylor had to intervene to resolve the matter, because Thomas and Steffi had a very intense argument. Thomas thinks he can see Douglas as he pleases, because Steffi is his sister. Douglas is Thomas's biological son, so he has every right to meet the boy. However, Steffi did not want Thomas to live so casually. Douglas is now living with Steffi and Finn, the two of whom will be responsible for Douglas's life. Steffi still allowed Thomas to visit Douglas, but only for a certain period of time, not freely. Of course, this angered Thomas because he was a person who hated rules. Thomas will do as he pleases, and Steffi is furious at not being respected. The brotherly relationship between Thomas and Steffi becomes strained, and Taylor has to deal with it.